Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that now. I could actually be a dang SoundCloud rapper now. <laughs> Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe. Today is a new day. Hey, and we got a what? We got a banger, 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 banger. Let's get it, guys. Today I got a new video for you guys, and it is specifically dealing with my dreadlocks and how I got my dreadlocks. As you guys can see, I have the, you know, Sal Panger dreadlocks, you feel me? So why not learn from the best? <laughs> I'm trying to bring you guys the best content that there is out there. So make sure you hit that thumbs up. So that, uh, you know what I'm saying, so I can drop more content that are very useful for you guys. So this is for all, of peop all the people, I, everybody that's wondering how I got my instant gym logs and how to get yours. You know what I'm saying? This is very simple. This is very easy. This saves time like tremendously versus, you know, uh, doing it over a process of natural locking method in a way. Uh, it's called instant drill logs and a lot of people may be against it because of how it's not naturally like, you know, dreaded itself or whatever. But I contradict that because nowadays, you know, saying you got microwave generation where everything is served in a microwave. And, uh, and so like, I don't, you know, I don't blame that. I don't come against that. It is what it is. It's what's happening right now. You know what I'm saying? I like microwave when I need to warm up something real quick, you know, besides that cooking and stuff like that. Of course, I like the oven or the stove and the oven and stuff like that. But hey, I digress. But guys, hey, this is to show you guys, I don't know if I'm talking about food over here. Uh, this is to show you guys how I got my dreadlock locked up and also a little bit update on my hair so after the intro basically I'm gonna get into it and then later on in the video I'm gonna be showing you guys what my hair is looking like and update on my drill locks so before we get into the video you know what we do you know what's you know what you know what's going on here you know what you know what we are about here it is intro Humble beginnings, humble beginnings, man. This is like 2017 when I, uh, when I learned that uh, how to get dreadlocks. Basically, um, I don't remember researching or anything. I knew how to get dreadlocks, but I kind of wasn't ready for it. Um, and of course, Gunther the Great uh, was shooting this video for how to get dreadlocks with Sponge Method, and uh, I was just like. Like, I want to get dreadlocks, but not now. Because I remember him asking me if, he, if I wanted to get a dreadlock. And I said, yeah, but not now. Like, I wanted to grow it out to do some stuff with my hair. Uh, you know, experience, like, you know, braids and um, uh, two-strand twists and all that stuff, basically, before I turn it to dreads. So, I kind of accomplished that throughout my journey to getting dreadlocks. Uh, but this is what it looked like. And a lot of y'all think my hair was perfect and stuff like that, but it was rough. And wait till I turn around, man. And I wasn't a barber here then uh, or anything. I didn't know how to cut or anything like that. So, you know, so wait till y'all see my neck. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a roast session in the comment section. But, you know, I already got roasted for this video, man. This video is almost at like one mil no, two million, I think. And I've been done roasted, so don't roast me on my comments. Welcome back, guys. This is Activerse. I'm about to do a quick twist out, a two strand twist. I've done this before. If you haven't checked it out, link should be in the description or here, up here somewhere. Yeah, man. Let's get into it, man. All right, you guys. I just wetted my hair. This is how long my hair is. Dang, man. It's a lot. Let's get into this. So, condition first. Yeah. Ready for this? Hi guys, I'm getting my hair conditioned right now. Oh, look at that fade. <laughs> Shout out to Gunther. But uh, it's to get everything moisturized and like wet, so it'll be easier when we detangle it. My hair is rough, man. Yeah, the glow up is real. Y'all see it? I got a fresh cut. I got a, my hair long. This is uh, a year after. Uh, this that was 2017. This is 2018. So this is a year later. My hair grew tremendously because I was doing a bunch of stuff with it. Like I said, uh, there's like a protective uh, method of like 
preserving your hair in a way and also uh, allowing it to grow and that's by doing things to it like uh like she was doing a two i think two strand twist for this video yeah but i had done two twists before i had done braids and, and all that fun stuff basically that i wanted to get it out of my system i think the first video might be actually from 2016 so this is 2018 so almost two years yeah i think there's a year and a, a year and a half at least gap i don't think in a year i achieved that i think it's a year and a half and i got to where my length is that long like it was long y'all see that versus like if i didn't have dreads like how long my hair would be right now yeah crazy but right here come up glow up you know it haters gonna hey y'all mad you know you feel me everybody gonna go like if you supporting you gonna go like for sure you know what i'm saying you just you just gotta admire that you know that 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 slow and steady gain you know what i'm saying these are the products that i used uh which i don't recommend right now to use these uh, but back then that's what i can afford i think there's better way better gels and stuff like that to do uh, the things that i did with but it came out pretty nice pretty decent and i did it for uh, guns lock what is called guns lock now great uh great locks uh so uh, go check that video out if you guys want to the whole video should be in the description hey what's up man forgot to do an introduction before i wet up my hair but you know what i'm saying fire coming you know what i'm saying why are you making face like that i love it they're about to like it more you about to love it more so we doing it uh, what is it called? I call it one strand twist, man. You just grab part of the hair, you twist it, call it up. But yeah, check it out, man. Give it a thumbs up, man. It's gonna be a fire video like the other ones. We in this thing. Let's get it! Y'all see me. Y'all see the glow. This is really after, a few months after the two strand twist, basically. Basically, uh, I don't know. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say basically. Basically, 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 basically. I'm gonna say however much I want to say it. Basically what happened was I wanted to get dreadlocks. I was kind of ready for it So I wanted to prep myself and this the way to do it was to get a one Strand twist which I have seen a picture of it didn't come out the way I wanted to look out uh, to look at to look like because my hair is a 3 or a 4 B You know uh, for the hair that I seen that did a one coil method or a one strand twist and Had it look like a dreadlocks, but not a dreadlocks looked Phenomenal and I'm like I want to do that, but I, I think the guy was Dominican or something like that And so you know their hair is like threes and the threes and stuff like that very curly uh, wavy, you know, so uh, It's able to maintain the moisture, but it, it don't even it's not even moisture that it maintains It just maintains its curliness versus my hair gets dry because it's in the force, you know, so different hair types But I still like came up on the hair man. I ain't gonna lie kind of took care of my hair as much as I could like I always say with even with my dreads I take care of my dreads as much as I can but this is what it look it's looking like look at how good sectioned out that is and this is the best way to start your dreadlocks you start it off with one coil or one strand twist or one coil method finger coil method that's what they call it but it's not really finger coil method because if you finger coil it like 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 picking out little sections it's gonna be so thin you don't want that see how it looks like it almost look like dreads right there but it's actually a few days after and it dried up and you know the moisture is gone and everything and this uh this is when i start my dreads i'm getting rid of the dreads he's getting dreads so don't worry we're gonna be making plenty of videos on his hair how to get dreadlocks and how to work with his hair he has like a 4c type hair or probably a 4b type hair he already kind of has some starter locks but today we're basically going to twist them and then we're going to instantly lock them up so that they instantly lock up that's the whole point we're going to show you guys how to get instant dreadlocks today so stay tuned this video thumbs up and uh let's get started eh? first off i'm gonna show you guys the tools i'm gonna be using in order to work with this man's hair so first i'm gonna be using the jamaican mango and lime locking gel just to get his roots sectioned out get the dread started like that i'm not gonna use this all the way on the dreadlock because we're gonna do something in the future that i don't want to be using locking gel on i'm also gonna be using this crochet needle that is a 0.5 i believe yeah 0.5 millimeter that's basically all we're going to be using for this you can use rubber bands to get the sections better and if you're not at the actual part of his hair actually kind of being sectioned then you're probably going to, have to use some rubber bands and stuff like that before so take that into consideration but if you're already at this spot like if you got the sections out then you're ready to go let's watch the video now yeah some of them are still coiled up you can see that a lot of them are actually are still coiled some of them have came out like this one um, this one's almost all the way out, but they're still there, so that's a good thing. 
So I'm just gonna stick with the sections that he has already. Some of them are kind of skinny, so I'll probably end up um, putting them together. But right now I'm just kind of separating them lightly and I'm gonna get a spray bottle, spray it, and then get a better separation so that I can go in and twist the roots. A section out. I recommend using the locking gel if the hair is um, not as coarse. But now I'm just gonna uh, uh, twist this. I'm gonna make sure to twist it in the same uh, rotation of the, his actual twists. So it looks like his hair is twisted clockwise. So all I'm doing is twisting the root to where it is tight. The biggest thing is just make sure that the section is there. And all you wanna do is make sure this hair is sectioned out. It's perfect that his hair is already in this form. Cause then all you wanna do is take your cushion needle you're gonna start at the root, start where you started that twist out, and literally you're gonna go in the dread and out the dread, but all you're gonna do is you're pulling the hair into the roots. So never pull away, always pull into the root. And as you're doing it, you kinda wanna rotate the hair. And with his hair, it's locking up really quick just because it's so coarse. Man, I'm telling you, it's so easy to get dreadlocks. It's not hard at all. You guys making yourself stressed out at times, but it's all about knowledge. And once you get knowledge, you just got to apply it. As Gunther the Great bringing the wisdom uh, on this, you know what I'm saying, lock, uh, how to get insta locks. And this video actually blew up. Make sure you check it out in the description. The whole video should be there. So you can already see that this hair is already locking up. I'm going to go back in there with the crochet needle, make it a little more tighter. But the good thing about this hair is it literally will just lock up so quick. Um, so I just have the rest of this to go in at. And I'm gonna try to maintain his length as best as possible. So you always wanna elongate the hair while you're twisting it and then go in with the crochet needle. And then, yeah, just keep that section as best as possible. Because essentially what's happening is you're going in, pulling hair from the other side of the dread. You're pulling it through the hair and onto this side and pushing it back in. So it's literally wrapping the hair. And the whole purpose of twisting the hair is, like I said, to get a well-rounded dreadlock so it doesn't become flat. It's so easy. You just got to get the crochet needle, which is uh, found now on greatlocks.com. Come on now. So go get that first. And go out of the tip, and it's literally pulling all that hair into the place that was last locked up. I see I've shown you guys basically how to coil everything up or not coil it down, lock everything up. Uh, the tip is the most important thing because you don't want to thin out the, uh, the tip or else it was, it was going to lose its basically, I don't know what you're going to call it. Um, basically what's going to happen is going to untangle the rest of your hair. So you just got to make sure that's locked up or it's going to end up just being curly at the, at, on, underneath it, you know what I'm saying? Or on the bottom of it. So you don't want to, you don't want that look, man. You want it to be all full and also balled up at the tip of it. And I have done videos how to blunt your tips because I had some hair that came out and uh, I was able to do it. But like I said, dreadlocks make your hair shorter. Later on, I will explain why that is. But this is looking pretty good and it takes us about a few hours to get it done. We'll do this with like gels or waxes. I just do it with just the hair. I don't really like using any products. Rubbing ha like a hand rub me method like that is the best way to to kind of like get rid of the frizz that you have on your dreadlocks once you get dreads. And uh, you know, as you do this, you're able to avoid a lot of more process from the dreadlocks. Down, and the dreadlock has become more matted. And that's what it looks like, literally. <laughs> you got a dreadlock, did he? No. Man. Yeah. Like I couldn't believe it. Like it felt so good. It was like, like this is the time. This is like my, you know, what I'm saying this is my time type of thing. Like. Like I waited so long to get dreads and I was so excited. See how short I got though from where I, sh uh, from how long it used to be. Uh, and I, like I said, I'll explain that in a later video. Uh, so keep watching the whole video. And uh, this is what my dread looked like. And I was pretty, I was, I was pretty like stoked by it. I was like, oh God, Lord Jesus. I got dreadlocks after years, you know, I didn't know. Like I wasn't allowed to get like hairstyles and stuff like that growing up. So some of y'all, you know what I'm saying, had to deal with that. Uh, so you know what I'm saying you get older you do what you want to do um, but it's not a it's not a way like to rebel sometimes it could be like you know from the deep if you go deep down in the psychology stuff it's probably like you know y'all didn't let me do this so I do whatever I want type of thing but uh, you know what I'm saying but I didn't it's, it's, it's not bad dreadlocks I think it's pretty cool it's pretty neat I think if my kids want dreadlocks I, I, I probably would let them uh, you know why not you feel me this is what i want but it's like i waited like 
so many years, man, to get this. The inspiration was used to be Sway Lee, um, but I didn't get the Mohawk dress. That's that's what I originally wanted. I might do that in the future. Uh, let me know, guys, in the comment section what you guys think about that. Count them while you were doing. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I don't know how many is on your head. Okay, coming soon, counting video. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know how long it's like. Probably for your whole head, like for the whole top of your head. Uh -huh. Probably like five hours. Yeah. It's not that bad. Or yeah. Four hours. Yeah, probably five hours. If you guys want to see how many dreadlocks he has, make sure to comment down below. You want to see a dread count video? Okay, yeah. Bye. By the way, I have like a you know with like a high taper. Not not now, but that's what I usually get. So I don't have any dreads on the side or anything like that. Cause it's all. Pop. Look like I'm about to drop an album, my guy. Let's look like I get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that now. I could actually be a dang SoundCloud rapper now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go see myself. I haven't seen myself. Big for me. Oh, shoot. <laughs> dang, my guy. You hooked it up, bro. Yeah. Do I look like Dune now? Yeah, kinda. Kinda? Diddy, baby. <laughs> Did he All right, guys, this is what my hair looking like right now. It is in a ponytail for sure. It's starting to lose the color of my dreadlock, but it looks actually phenomenal right now. Uh, looks really good. It looks like it's a bright, uh, like sapphire color. And I, I'm liking it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not hating it. Now, at first, it was, of course, completely blue. Now it's like, like green because of the uh, sun and stuff like that but it actually make it look good somebody said i look like peacock that kind of hurt me though because it's like why would you think that of me? you know what i'm saying this is what my jersey looking like i haven't rocked it down in a while so maybe i need to you know what i'm saying rock it down for today or so i kind of got used to rocking it down anyway so i'm not tripping if, if i have to come down to it let's see if it's tangled or not i really don't like didn't like rocking it down, but I'm, you know, I'm saying, getting myself used to it now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And then I have this right here. That's, you know, that's still Congoed. Um, not naturally, but I actually had to attach it, and then I had to rip it apart because it was too thick right here. So I have to split that all the way halfway and you know the video should be right there if you want to see how I did it. And I used to have a different color too so I did it in a different color when I had a different color. But this is what my hair looked like. Uh, dandruff still a little bit issue uh, you know but I've been able to you know cope with it you know what I'm saying. I'm not get really mad on my hair or my dreadlocks or anything. And the length this is what the length looked like and it's because I had it in a ponytail that it's not you know just going all the way down. but. It's a length check right there. Sheesh, that's actually pretty long. And it's like, you know, it's pretty nice looking right now. I can leave it down like I said today, maybe. Let's see um, if I'm still used to rocking it down. But this is what my dread looks like. This is almost like what? Is, let's see. Almost two years, right? So um, about 20 month update, 21 months update. So this. My dreadlock been in here for 21 months, man. And as you guys seen how I started it, it's just whenever you do insta locks, and I, I don't know if it is because of the thickness of my hair, but my hair was long, and then when I did the insta lock, it, it became short. And I like for some reason it seems like it grows slower um, once I made it an insta insta lock. And I think it's because it's just in general every like almost every hair is combined to one another. So instead of growing down, it's like you know just like twisting one another, and so it becomes shorter, much shorter. It was like almost half of the length of where I started. So when I had you know when I had started my dreadlocks, I think my hair was like maybe right here or something like that. And then when I had it locked it, it became like right right up here or something like that and then i had to grow this so basically over this 21 month period of time almost dang it's like almost half of it grew yeah i i doubled up basically 
Oh, that's crazy. Over uh, what? Almost 21 months. So, yeah, so 21 months I doubled up. Be patient with your dress, guys. If you guys seen like your dress grow much slower than other people, uh, be patient. A lot of times it's not because it's grown slow, it's because you're looking at yourself every day. It's like it's like growing up, right? You don't really know you got taller till you actually measure yourself to where you left a mark on your door door post or something like that. And you just measure sure you're like, oh, from last year I grew or something like that. It's kind of like that. Like when you used to looking at yourself every day, you're not used to your hair growing because you're looking at it every day. It's like, it's like I don't know if my beard grew from yesterday because I was looking at myself, but I know from last month or two weeks, I definitely know it grow. So just, you know what I'm saying, do a, of course, do a video or a, a photos, take photos of your dreads and update yourself with it. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys watch videos and YouTube videos, YouTubers on dreadlocks and stuff like that. I think you should do the same thing with yourself and that have to be for the public. It could be uh, personal. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this whole video. Hope you guys learned something. Make sure please you subscribe to my channel and like the button and also visit diverse.shop for hair jewelries. I will be dropping more jewelries on that. I'm still uh, working to get y'all that cross, man. And it's, I don't know where it is at. Like, I ordered that stuff a long time ago. Ah! gonna be here soon it's gonna be here soon okay we're gonna believe that it's gonna be here soon make sure you subscribe to my uh, family channel also to our family channel me and my wife is diverse diverse family uh, because a wedding video is coming up this Monday this Monday the wedding video is dropping man it is so inspiring I, I literally almost cried watching the whole video and I edited it you know what I'm saying uh, it's crazy check out the previous video but till next time keep acting the verse and creating your universe you're a master of your own universe I'm active and I'm out stay tuned you dig